you can't even see me. Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Sunday. Bruh. I ain't been doing shit all day. I feel like such a bum. I look like a bum. I'm not feeling myself that much. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair tomorrow because I'm getting my hair done on Wednesday. And you know I'm getting my hair done from one of them hairstylists that tell you- Hey, you blow dry clean, no oil, no nothing. So, my go-to is a bun. But if I do a bun, then I'm gonna put gel in my hair and then they gonna be mad and I got gel in my hair. I truly don't know what I'm gonna do for this upcoming week. I'm mad to put a wig on, but then, if I put a wig on, then the white people gonna be like, you just had a hair, and I- But yeah, the white people gonna be confused. I already done confused them once, and had to let them know, baby, it's a wig, okay? It's gonna be long, it's gonna be short, it's gonna be curly, it's gonna be straight, like. Even if you wanna tell people, like, I'm black. Like, whenever they ask you, I'm just like, I'm a black girl. Like, what do you, why don't you just get it? But yeah. I'm really confused about what I'm gonna do. Um, but putting on a wig might be the best bet because I refuse to have another hairstylist mad at me because I decided to oil my hair because I don't want it to break. Okay, but my appointment is days out and I have to do something with my head because I have to be presentable. So, that's my dilemma right now. But other than that, I'm blessed. But right now, I am in God... Oh, God be. Right now, I'm in Google's parking lot because... Our dress code at work changed again, and it changed for the better. But we are not allowed to wear jeans during the week. We don't have to, but we are not allowed to. And when I say that is a blessing, it is because it's such a relief to know that if I really just wanted to put on jeans, I really could. So I'm definitely going to continue to dress it up and make it real for them um, on a corporate fashion tip. But I get to now incorporate jeans into that. So I'm at Goodwill to look at some blazers. I think blazers are going to be a good addition in my closet. All types of colors, sizes, oversized, vintage. Mm, maybe not vintage. I'm not I'm not too into the vintage, but you get what I'm saying. So I'm going to go up here in Goodwill and see if I can find some blazers. Because that will be an addition that I can wear with jeans and stuff. And I'm real hype and thirsty to use my camera. So I just thought I'd take you guys with me. And like I said, my hair is not done. I just been a bum all day. at me like I'm crazy but one thing about it I'm gonna have to stop camping oh these are so cute okay so I need to find the blazer Ooh, found it so it's time to get to looking and see what I can find I think I'll buy some good stuff. This one. That's cute with the ruffles. That's cute. really cute it's not as tight as the other one and I can just wear it as like a three-quarter sleeve I like this one I 
done my rounds and I found so many blazers. So many blazers. So I'm gonna show y'all a few. Yeah, I'll show y'all a few. that was pretty successful I found a few blazers I liked some were just too tight oh my god there was this adorable one but it was too tight and I almost made myself get it I almost made myself get it but I was like Jay it's too tight it's too tight it's too tight like no get stuff that's your size like no we're not doing it so I didn't get it. <laughs> I really should go home, but I'm not. I'm gonna go to Play-Dohs. And now that I have these blazers, I kind of really want to style them. This is why I should have got out the house earlier, but I really didn't I really didn't plan anything for today. Oh my gosh. Hey guys. Drink shit. Coke up the price of coca. Okay, hey y'all, I'm back home. And I know I did not do the best job of vlogging the last um, few hours because I definitely went to Plato's Closet and I definitely found a few things, but nothing that was on my like styling list or ideas for anything. Okay, so. I just finished dinner I mean dinner plus a chocolate chip cookie oh that's all I had and it wasn't even a whole cookie it was half cookie but yes yeah, so I just finished dinner and now I'm getting ready to show y'all what I got I don't know I'm out of breath y'all from going up the steps oh I'm out of breath I'm trying to, y'all bear with me. I'm getting used to my whole new thing in my thing. Okay, so I went to Goodwill first, right? So the first one I got is this pink blazer. I guess I could try them all for y'all. Pink one. It's real cute. Also got this leopard blazer. And then I got this really cute. Um, I think it's cute, but it's this pink turtleneck. Not even turtleneck, it's the cow neck. So this is the neck part and it like folds over. And it's pink, but it's like leopard. I think that's so cute. I guess a cute touch um to the to the shirt um i also got this blazer which was real cute and it's from um the white and black market i don't know if you guys have ever seen that in the mall but it's very um like classic pieces so this is real cute it has the tool on the blazer and it's satin um, fake pockets, but real pretty and I think you can take the tool off But I appreciate the tool. So this is another one. I Think this is one of my favorites for the pattern. So I got this and Y'all don't Don't even judge it's really cute on and I wouldn't even because you know how you have the circular um, neck sometimes it definitely can get off give off old lady but this pattern is in the gold like this is this is what people are doing right now anyway so things always come back but I would wear it flipped so that you know we can take a little bit away from the circle it does have shoulder pads and I'm thinking to cut that out 
I'm not even thinking I am going to cut them out. But I can appreciate these shoulder pads. They're not too much because I saw a few today that were too much. But I love this. From the pattern to the color, I love it. I might just, that might be what's tomorrow looking like. <laughs> nah, I'm waiting till my hair done. <laughs> the last blazer is this, um, it's a long one. Like it's longer and it has purple, white, and black on it. I was thinking to wear this as a dress. I think you could wear this a few ways for sure, but the first way I was definitely thinking like as a dress because it's long enough, but then put still like a short skirt under it or something just so that, you know, everything's covered, but still gives off the look of it being a dress. This is cute today. And do like um, sheer hosiery and some boots or something. It could be really cute. And the last thing I got from Goodwill are these cute behind slides they're adorable i at first thought i could wear it with this but they're actually two different pinks for 396 and i was like oh, okay we're getting these they weren't on the list but we're getting these plato's is apparently now bagless whatever that means well it means exactly what it sounds if you go to plato's Bring a bag as if you're going to the healthy supermarket when you bring your own bags. So the first thing, y'all, I'm pressed. So the first thing is these True Religion jogger pants. So cute. Okay. Um, they're like peach and then the black. And it has a little bit of the studs on the black with the gold. And these are actually a medium. They're a little big. They're like kind of baggy on my waist, but I still had to get them because, um, I mean, joggers are a chill look anyways, so I wasn't tripping too much. And the next thing I got was this, was this thing. I don't know what you call these, but I was like, this is cute. Okay, you know, a little bodysuit thing. I didn't try this on, so if it doesn't fit, I'm be a little sad, but I'm thinking this is real cute. Just wanted to show y'all this pink thing. Um, yeah. So oh, the next thing I got was these sneakers. I'm literally not a sneaker girl at all, but I do have a type of sneaker that I do like appreciate, and I appreciate Vans. I appreciate Nike Cortezes. I appreciate like canvas sneakers. I'm just not one that's gonna go, and I tried literally yesterday, but I'm just not one that's gonna go into Champs or Foot Locker and look for, um, like look on the wall and be like, oh, I'm gonna get those. For one, because I like clothes over shoes every time. So that's out and I just don't feel compelled enough to go get, to get the shoe. Cause I'm not gonna, it's not gonna get worn as much. Like, to me, sneakers just seem like a one-time wear or a few-time wears and your outfit has to be around the whole sneaker and it's just like, that's not how I dress. So these are definitely right up my alley. Um, They're pink and they're Nike. I don't know which Nike, but these were actually 40 bucks from Play-Dohs and I was like, You'll never find anything for that much. And obviously, they're pre-owned, but they look so good. Like, I think whoever got them probably got them as a gift and they didn't like them or something. But these are super cute to me. I got to get to know my coworkers a little bit more. And I'm effing with it. But then you know, conversation started flowing. We got wine in us. We, we talking. And it just felt really good because for the last month and going on two months on the 16th, I, you know, I'm the youngest by at least five or four years. You know, I just never felt like I could connect with people. Like, people have been very nice. People have been very welcoming. I love my team. I love my boss. Like, I'm happy, but I never felt like I have my work friend. I'm, and I don't think 
up until Friday, I didn't think that I would have like, like I would see friendships out of my coworkers. Um, but Friday was just really good. Like we had so many different conversations and people got to really see me a little bit more because it was like, they could already see it, but I definitely like, I definitely pulled her out a little bit more. Cause I'm, I'm very, I can be very guarded as far as like what I want to show. And they got to connect with me more and like see where I'm coming from. And that was, you know, due to the wine and the painting and, the, and we all off work and we all in this one place. And it was just real good vibes. And then we moved from the pottery place to Bar Taco right across the street and it was time to eat it was time to really like mingle and it was time to drink and i'm hanging out like we hanging out like it was just it was just real good vibes like we had margaritas we took a shot of tequila like these are my co-workers that are like some are 10 20 plus my age and then some are like five seven plus my age but we all vibing in that we had like this moment and <laughs> my highest like my team's lead he was in the middle of me and my direct boss and she was just like i'm so happy to have you on the team like you just don't even understand you are awesome like you deserve to be here she was just bigging me up and he was just like do i need to get a room <laughs> do y'all need a room do i just got the way and in that moment i just felt super blessed because they were talking about the selection process and just like you made it through a stack of resumes like and i'm and it just made me feel like it, when it's for you it's for you and god put my name on that because i swear i did not anticipate anything i was giving myself till march because i understand that looking for a job is difficult and post-grad and all these things that i've been warned about and stuff but in the same token, I really put the work in in 2019. And when that opportunity came, I did like, I was shocked and I was like, wow, like I was on a high. But then when I really sat there and thought about it, I'm like, but I work for this. Like, I definitely deserve this. I earned this. So they just really reassured that for me, which made me feel more comfortable with them. And it was just a really good time, but I definitely didn't get it tipsy. Because I was cool on the margaritas. Like we had little glasses of margaritas and it was really good margaritas. I had like probably like three of them. <laughs> they brought shots. I was like, oh, my team is crazy. They came up with shots. We and I wasn't gonna take one. I really wasn't. I was like, nah, nah. Cause first of all, I suck at shots, period. Like me and shots, I, I my dad reflects like, period shots are like if you pour me a shot that's like three shots because my gag reflex is like i can't i can't <laughs> but i tried to take it like a g and i did it in two i want to put me over the edge like when i stood up i was like <sighs> it was nothing like crazy nothing crazy don't get me wrong like i could hold my own and i definitely was like yeah you better hold your own you out here Man, you out here in the pub you outside you out here in the street I had a really good time Friday. Basically, a really good like turning point for me, I think. And moving forward, I think there's gonna be way more conversation, more connecting and relationship building because you know some of those barriers have kind of been broken down from Friday. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. And I'm still trying to figure this whole thing out. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing a good job at it. And then other times I feel like I'm not doing a good job at it. And I watch so many vlogs that I feel like I know what I'm supposed to be doing. But at the same time, I, I feel like I'm not doing enough. I don't know. I just wanted to come effortless. I wanted to be real. I wanted to come across as real. I wanted to come across as valuable in some cases i want to build a connection with y'all um and i just hope i'm doing a good job and i'm just gonna get better but i just hope i'm doing a good job and i'm not doing too much talking and that you guys are actually enjoying the things that i'm talking about when i do decide to talk and i think I'm, i am going to be a little bit better about when i vlog and what i vlog so that it is more 
you know appealing to someone to watch but i think it's important to have moments like this to connect and you know catch up and share some things that are on my mind or moments that are turning points or you know moments for the better or just things like that because that's life and I want this to be lifestyle, you know? All right, y'all, so I'm going to figure out what I'm going to wear tomorrow. And I'm also going to bantu knot my hair so that it has some volume and that it's also put away because we don't want to sleep on our hair just to open like this. This is how you create breakage. Um, so I'm gonna bantu knot my hair. I'm gonna figure out what I'm wearing tomorrow. And then I'm gonna get in the bed because I have gotten, I have got to get a grip on this adulting thing and this full-time job thing because I am, I am an, a night owl. I am proud to say it, but society is not here for night owls. Society is here for early bird gets the worm and I want to be a better me and I want to have time in the morning for myself to thank God get my mind right for the day and not just be rolling out of bed. That's what I've been doing for the last almost two months, rolling out of bed. Once I figured out that I can get out, I can get up as late as 7.30 and still be on time, and not even on time, but still be there at a reasonable time, I just been going with it. But I want to be better. I wanna be great, and to be great, you have to do better than just good. And that's good enough. Like, I wanna be great. Therefore, I need to get up earlier. That way I can do some things that will probably give me better days and not feel rushed and you know, all that good stuff. So, find me something to wear. I'm going to fancy knot my hair and I'm going to Check my calendar, see what I see if I need to create some content for the it guy. I probably do. And then I'm going to take it in for the night because I am tired. This may be the last you're seeing of me, but it may not. But if it is, love you guys for sticking with me. I'm gonna get the hang of this thing. I'm determined. I feel like I'm made for this. I have a lot like in my head going on because I've gotten some feedback and I just I'm trying to think about the feedback and make sure that I'm I'm not doing the things that people notice. But I'm trying to keep it as real as possible. I just you guys may see me again, but if not, good night. And I may see you guys tomorrow. We'll see. Peace out. Have sweet dreams.